Hi guys, this will be the third in the series and hopefully the last one. Got my magnets on my uh, battery powered fan where I've taken the fan blades off and just stuck the magnets on the end. And another little request from Mike or comment from Mike Rogers. Uh, he wanted to see me hold the magnets so that they're directly over the disc because I've been holding them like this so that they spin at right angles to the disc whereas if I hold them right over the top of the disc they'll be revolving in the same plane I think it's the best way I can put it what I can't do is what he really wanted me to do which is put them right over the top can't do that because we've got a magnet there which as you could see <coughs> gets attracted to so the best I can do is offset it slightly but we still get the same effect so the magnets will be spinning round and they will cause the disc to spin and I've had people asking me to explain why and I'm not going to explain why you're going to have to look up Lenz's law so I'll hold it directly over the top, start them spinning. I've still got the hair spring on there, so it won't spin all the way round, it'll just turn against the spring. Help if I find the on-off switch. So that's turning against the spring. If I can move out of the, no I can't, the cam you can actually see the camera reflected on the disc, so you can't see the arrow very clearly. <laughs> it's actually forced itself all the way around against that spring. Tell you what, I'll take the spring off if I can. Right, so that's got rid of the hair spring. So now it will just spin freely all the way around. Move it out. We get less speed, it slows down. And if I move it in, it speeds up. Out. Slows down. in, speeds up. So there we go. If I just hold the magnets there that should slow it down. Yes. So it's, that's a magnetic braking. So there we go.